Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I love this category. Oh my goodness, I could have like been, I, I just, I, I kept searching and there's a bunch of tabs, but you guys are gonna love it. It is so, so cool. You guys know I've done Christmas. I have a Christmas category video. I have Halloween, um, I have Easter. I mean, holidays are fantastic items to like, items that have to do with holidays, I guess, holiday items, uh, amazing. People love them, especially vintage, discontinued, hard to find. Oh my goodness, wait until you guys see this video. So this is Valentine's Day. <gasps> Valentine's Day, <clears throat> excuse me. I will either post this probably, maybe I'll post it before. I don't know, today is December, what is today? December 27th. So I will either post this soon or maybe I'll wait and post it like on Valentine's Day. That's always fun. I've done that like on Christmas. I posted one for Christmas. But if I post it now, maybe you guys could like get your items listed. But I'm guessing most of you have already done that anyway. I don't know when I'll share it. But Valentine's Day bolos. I had so much fun. Well, not like so much fun. Like, oh, let's have a party fun. But I had a good time looking through these. I was very, very surprised by a lot of them. Some of them I knew about. And I this video could have been like an hour and a half long. I could have just kept looking, but I'm like, okay, I've got to stop it somewhere. So I'm going to go through some of them I found. Let me know what you guys think down in the description. We're going to get started here. Um, I try not to take up a lot of your time just chit-chatting like that because I know you guys come to see the bolos and I'm going to share them with you. So the first item is this thing, which, okay, you guys, let me make sure I've got that. Yes, I do have it pulled up correctly. We're not gonna find this, but I just had to share it because it's so cool. I mean, I guess maybe we'll find it, but I highly doubt it because um, these things are hard to find. Now, does that have a, what is this? It says Smith 20, huh, Night Before Christmas is the name of the store. Do you see this right here? Is that like a, um, I don't know what that says. Does it say Scott Smith? I'm so confused. Oh, okay. So it says Scott Smith, but that looks like a, what do you call that when they put it on the, um, oh, eBay doesn't allow it anymore. Um, oh, guys, help me out. I cannot think of what it is. Let's see what it says down here. Chocolate and snowmen. May not be the first thing you think of on Valentine's Day, but it's always snowy here in Michigan during February, so it seems just right. So this is a new one-of-a-kind piece handcrafted by Scott Smith. The Jolly Snowman is dressed in top. So I'm confused. I thought maybe that this was like something old, but the head, hands, and boots are made of paper mache. So it's made in 2020, so this is new. Let me look at these bids. I'm wondering if this might be something private bidder, but it has 13 unique bidders. Okay, so you see it says 13 here and then 37 bids. So 37 bids, but 13 unique bidders. Like I was thinking maybe he started at $25. Now I'm like really curious about who is Scott Smith and why did this go for so much money? At first I thought it was like a vintage item. I don't know. Does anybody know of hmm, Rukas Studio? I don't know. I'm going to have to research this so maybe a little bit. Let me look at, I, I don't want to take up you guys' this time looking it up. You guys look this up and let me know in the comments. Um, I might look it up also. Who knows? I, I'm going to do another video after this. And as you can see, this one is not a short video and it's after midnight. So I try to go to bed by one, but you know how that goes. I wonder how big it is because $35 to ship. That's probably for insurance. I don't know. This one confuses me, but it sold for $2,710 plus shipping. So I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely curious. The next item is this Mr. Brainwash. I woof you 2012 signed and numbered 75 stored flat Bansky or Banks, Banksy, Banksy Valentine's. So I think this is just a print. And this sold for $770 plus shipping. Now, this is 
amazing. So it's 10 inches. It's an antique Victorian Dresden paper lace Valentine. And it says rare mirror. So you see that little mirror? I think that's what they're calling. And it's a Valentine. What do you guys think about this? Would you ever imagine that something like this could go for $412.60? Amazing. And it says 1850. So I don't know how they know that. I wonder if it's dated somewhere. I don't know. I mean, it's beautiful. It's amazing. I'd never pay that kind of money, but um, let's see. It says, and I saw where this person had more of these listed and they all went for big money that I saw. Um, it says, after selling the first three of four extraordinary 19th century Valentines I had, I have decided to give up this one also. I had previously planned to keep it as I was so smitten with it. I now realize that devout, oh, here's that word. Ephemera, Ephemera, did I get it? You guys all sent me comments telling me how to say it and I still feel like I'm saying it wrong. Ephemera, is that right? Collectors take their Valentines very seriously and this grand example belongs in the collection of one who will appreciate it even more than I. This was my favorite example. So how cool is that? Wonder where she got them all. So amazing. Um, let me go in. Sometimes I like to do this. It looks like they have a really cool store. But let's go into sold. And I want to do highest first because I'm just curious. So yeah, here's one. Look at that guy. Um, that's a, I think it's key pie, key pie doll, but that one's bisque. So here's one that went for 385. Here's another one that went for 258. Like where did she get all these awesome cards and dolls. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Neat, neat store. I think I featured this one in my Christmas Bolo video. That's so funny. Okay. So the next one, these are Ray Dunn. Okay. This only had one bid. I did not look up to see if this was like a fluky thing or not, but some of the old Ray Dunn can go for big money. So this one is um, the Valentine, it looks like collection. And I mean, it says made in China, so I don't think it's probably the old stuff. Um, but this sold for $399. It, oh, it does say vintage, so it is the older stuff. I don't know how to tell. Uh, it says magenta set, so maybe that's... Any Ray Dunn fans, can you explain to me how you know if the Ray Dunn is vintage? Because that has the made in China sticker. Let me see if I can... So by magenta, I don't know. But some of the Ray Dunn can definitely go for a lot. Like the little bird houses, I think, do decent. So if you see Ray Dunn, definitely look it up. The head vases, lady head vases, again, can be a huge bolo. I have a category video on this in my on my channel. Definitely check that out if you want to see some big money head vases. This one went for $390.99 plus shipping and I mean, it's got the hearts on the hat. I guess that's why they're calling it a Valentine lady. Here's another one of the cards. It went for $385. I mean, they're beautiful. Look how delicate they are and the condition they're in. Are I mean, it's amazing. Could you imagine having something from the 1800s? It's just amazing. Is it dated? I keep looking for a date. Wouldn't it be cool if it was dated? The next item a lot of 200 plus holiday postcards. These are Valentine's Day, Easter, Halloween, St. Patty's Day. I will tell you that Halloween postcards can go for a ton of money. These look like these are really good cards. I think that the person that bought these is probably buying them to resell. I mean, some of those postcards can go for 50 to $100 if, if it's the right one. Um, I wonder if they have more pictures down here. I was hoping they would, but it looks like sometimes when um, people use other uh, software, the pictures disappear. They'd have to delete them. So that's unfortunate because I would have liked you for you guys to have seen some of these. But both of these are really good. But they may have put the best ones on top. Who knows? 
Oh, that sold for three hundred and sixty-six dollars um, plus shipping. The next item is this Chanel Bear. Um, it's a collector. It's a rare and authentic. It's limited edition Valentine's Day. I don't know what year it's from. Let's see if it tells us. Only five hundred available worldwide. Wow. Uh, um, $249, but only one bid. So the next item are these funny Valentines, 1959 to 1960 sets one and two. So, um, not many pictures again, only one bid on this sold for $250. So I don't know when there's one bid. I, I like the ones that have like a bunch of bids that shows demand, but, um, you know, vintage Valentine's are definitely good. So it could have very well been a paid for item. Let's see. Yeah. I was going to say we could check the feedback, but they've got a lot. Okay. Jimmy, I think is how you say it. I have sold a football player, a big one, a big guy, big guy for, Oh, he was in one of my, videos, my big money videos. And then I also sold a smaller one for, um, decent money. That was a football player. And I've also sold a huge snow globe that had a hole in it, not a hole, but like a slit and it like sprayed snow. It was amazing. And I sold it for good money. So if you see these vintage Jimmy brand blow up things, you definitely want to pick them up. This one sold for $228 and 88 cents with, um, the buyer paying shipping. Could you imagine walking outside like your house? Like I'm sure some guy bought this for his woman and she walked out her front door and saw this thing that said happy Valentine's day. How cool is that? The next item. Okay. Department 56. I hear about department 56 all the time. I can't say that I've ever sold any, but it can definitely, definitely be a bolo. I know some of the Christmas stuff does well. This is a Valentine's day. Um, it's from the celebrate love series, Cupid's card shop sold for $228 and 50 cents plus shipping. How cute is this? It's a vintage Rushton rubber face, Billy butts, goat Valentine. Oh my gosh. I would have a hard time selling this. Like I don't get attached to stuff like this, but I just think that little face is so, so cute. Sold for $232 and 50 cents with 31 bids and free shipping. Okay, someone please explain to me what on earth this is. It says Nora Fleming Mini XO Blocks, Valentine Retired. It, I don't understand. Like, what is it? Dish not included. So it must go on a dish. So perhaps somebody has like some expensive dish and, oh, okay. Well, here's one that I'm confused. Went for $16.49. I've never heard of this. But they, they look like they're little um, inserts that go on dishes. Does any Has anybody ever seen this? Let's look at this. 33 bids. I'm wondering if somebody... 14 unique bidders. 33 total bids. They started it at $35. I guess just two people wanted it. Or... 13, 14 people wanted it really bad and it went up to $226. The next item is this stave puzzle, Valentine mouse house from 2002, 81 pieces. It looks like um, a thick wood puzzle. I wish they would have put it together. I would have liked to have seen what it actually looks like. I've never heard of this. Um, I'm definitely going to look for it because this sold for $220.50 plus shipping. So this is a um, original Scotty wooden Valentine wall hanging. I mean, it's a heart. I think that background is just like it's laying on a couch or something. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. This should be the main picture, I think. That's more clear to me. Um, and again, they've got it. Um, what is that called? Something marked. Um, oh my goodness. Right here. Um, where it says 
Sherry O'Neill, 2020. I wonder if it's handmade by her. Do you think maybe? Presenting my Valentine to all Scotty lovers. This fabulous hand painted wounded heart could be yours. I have painted a little sweet Scott. Okay, so it's hand painted. It's one of a kind collectible. So she made this. So I'm wondering. Original art by Sherry. Cherry. Not Cherry. Sherry. Cherry O'Neill. Huh. Interesting. So I'm guessing she can mark it because she actually made it, you think? Interesting. 29 bids, 188, 46, or 48. I'm guessing with this guy, it's the same thing. It's handmade by somebody and it sold for a ton of money. What did we say that started? They started it at $25. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Quite, I can't believe I picked the right tab. Huh. All right. Uh, ugly sweaters. Okay. Maybe you guys like it. I don't know. I think it's kind of kind of ugly, but it's Lily Pulitzer, I think is how you say it. And that's a pretty popular brand. It usually sells for decent money, but this sold for $187.75 plus shipping. And it is vintage. The next item. Okay. I just think that if this would have had a white background, this would have popped so much better. Like this background, these chairs or whatever they are, is very distracting to me. But look how beautiful this is. And I just saw one of these at an estate sale. It wasn't like this, but it was a card that popped open and it was antique and I probably should have bought it. But I just wasn't sure and I didn't buy it. And now I'm like kicking myself major, but this is from 1954. You can see it's dated there. It's Valentine's day. I don't know why that says 1917 and that says 1957. So I don't know how, I don't know, but it sold for $189 and 49 cents. And again, the condition is amazing given its age. And if you guys don't know, this down here is called honeycomb. So that's a good keyword to use if you have that. The next item is another department 56. This is the snow village valentine's the village express this one sold for 179 dollars and 59 cents plus shipping these are a vintage pair of rosen rossbro plastic lollipop holders so you put your lollipop behind it i guess super cute crazy what they went for 177 dollars and 50 cents plus shipping i mean I would see those and I'd pick them up because they're cute and they're vintage, but I would have no idea that they were worth that much money. These are vintage Valentine's Day postcards, a set of six, and they are used, some of them, and then it looks like a few of them are not. $172.49 with 14 bids plus shipping. Let's see if the seller knew. Started them out at $30, so I'm sure they were pretty happy. Okay, so this is a Disney pin and it says auctions. I don't know why it says auctions. Goofed up Valentine's Day. It went for $165.50. Uh, let's see if we can, let's see. Hard to find, limited edition. I don't know. Some reason this one went for a lot of money. They started it at $9.95. Very cool. The next item, blow molds. You guys, Valentine's blow molds do great also. Um, Dawn Featherstone. And you can see it looks like it's sitting in a window, so it's not real big. Sold for $155.29 plus shipping. Antique Victorian scrapbook, huge die cuts, trade cards, Valentine's embossed sewing. 152 50 this sold for with nine bids. So it looks like it's somebody's scrapbook of vintage um, cards. Pretty cool, huh? Very, very neat. I wonder if they're glued on. People collect these highly, highly collectible. 
The next item is this very cool antique primitive tin six heart mold pan valentine sold for $135.50 with 14 bids plus shipping. This is a women's um, rights, uh, the right to vote. And I'm sure that that increased the value of it because of it's kind of political. Um, sold for $140.49. Okay, you see it says mechanical in the title. So I think um, you move this and her head goes up and down or maybe she shakes her head like this. You know, like, I don't know exactly what it does. Her neck gets longer. It's something with her neck, I think. You can see right there. So you move the back and it moves. So that's what a mechanical card is. And they do sell for more. This is just a lot of 350 vintage used used greeting cards from the 40s, 50s, and 60s. It's a mixed lot. It's got Valentine's Day, birthdays, um, uh, Christmas. Now, people use these for crafts. So they usually go for decent money. Now, I'm guessing that the seller could have parted these out and sold them individually. And I'm going to be doing a greeting card bolo video in the near future. And you might want to check that out also. This one sold for $131 with 33 bids plus shipping. Here's another one of those Ross Bro Ross and Valentine's. So this is just one. It sold for $113.50 plus shipping. These are from the 1950s. So definitely an item to be on the lookout for. The next item is this little Valentine's porcelain planter. Super cute. Um, looks to be in really nice condition. And this is, it says Relpo Girl. I'm trying to, so Relpo is the brand. So I don't know if, the brand is good or if it's just that it's um valentine's day and vintage vintage unused valentine's days cars from the 1950s there's 115 here this sold for 116 dollars with free shipping so that's about a buck a card this is super cute so this is a signed clap saddle valentine's day mechanical postcard so again this is a postcard. It's mechanical. You can see the little wheel on the side. So when you turn the wheel, it changes what is inside the heart. So very, very cute. This one sold for $86 with five bids plus shipping. So anything unique and different like that, you definitely want to sell it separately. This one's super cute too. Um, they called this one movable. So I think mechanical is probably the term you want to use. Um, it's got a little chain. Not sure what this one does. Oh, you know what? Maybe this one isn't mechanical. Maybe the arm just does like one of these. Yeah, so movable might be the right word. But this one sold for $27.56 plus shipping. Um, Again, this one's not huge, but it's just to give you an idea what you can sell cards for individually. So you see this is not a square shape. It's kind of looks like a cutout. That is called die cut. So you can see right here they have die cut movable. So um, it's from the 1920s. Very, very cool. Um, so yeah, vintage Valentine's Day items are definitely a bolo. Definitely something to be on the lookout for. Super cool category video. Super excited about this one. I'll do another one probably next year. I don't know. Just to kind of see what's trending. Because, you know, things do change. They really do. But um, always look things up. It, I always say if you can pick it up for five bucks or less and you think there's potential for it to be a bolo, what have you got to lose? I mean, more than likely you're going to make double your money, you know, if it's a decent item. And if you just go with your gut, a lot of times it ends up paying off. Now, if they have something that it's $50 or even $20, look it up, guys. It doesn't take long to pull out your phone and look something up. Just because you see it in one of my videos and somebody else sold it for a huge amount of money doesn't mean that maybe that person didn't get lucky. So definitely search solds. Um, for my videos, I typically do auctions with a lot of bids. Um because I feel like that shows demand. And it'll usually say this item was relisted if um, 
the person didn't pay. So if if the person doesn't pay and the seller wants to relist the item to, to sell it again, they can either hit sell similar, which I'm sure some people do, or they can click relist. But when they hit relist, it shows me that the item was relisted. So I don't show you guys those. Um, it's not foolproof at all, but um, it's definitely a good way to uh, kind of know that maybe there was non-payment on that item. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome night. My Facebook groups and Twitter and Instagram are all down below in the description. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, still give it a thumbs up. No, I'm kidding. Um, if you think there's something that you would could you think I could use improvement on besides pronouncing things because I just can't help that, um, comment below. I'm criticism that's constructive is fine. Like I'm totally fine with that. I'm trying to grow the channel. I want to know what you guys want to see. I can't like guarantee that I'm going to make every change that you guys recommend, but I have taken feedback from you guys and I do appreciate it. So thanks so much. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like I can see, um, like I can go in and look at my subscriber base and see like how many people are watching my videos are subscribed and how many are not subscribed that have watched, which is really, really cool. But I would say more are subscribed than not subscribed. And probably one way that I hurt my subscriber base is that I share every video in my Facebook group. So if you're in my Facebook group and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I know I share the videos there, but it really, really helps me when people actually subscribe. And if you hit that little bell, I think it's over here, um, that'll alert you when I post new videos. So, and comments, comments bump me in the algorithm. And most of you have probably already tuned off by now. So I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of info in case you're new to YouTube, because I'll tell you what, before I started YouTube, I hardly ever watched YouTube. I had no idea what um, YouTube was all about. Usually when I'd watch it, it was from um, I like Rockstar Flipper. I was in his Facebook group and I would see something that he was talking about that had to do with eBay and I would watch it to learn. So now I use YouTube all the time. I watch when I list and when I'm taking pictures and when I'm doing things like that, because even if I'm not watching, I'm listening and all of that information, um, I'm taking it in, you know, I'm learning as I'm working. It's just, it's a great tool. YouTube is a fantastic educational tool. So be sure to check out my other Bolo Buddies YouTube videos. I have tons of items to be on the lookout for. All right. Thanks you guys. Have a great night and I'll see you soon. Hmm.